okay? <laughs> we're doing this. We're definitely, we're, we're, we're doing this. I took no notes doing this. I'm winging this. This is all off the dome. Spitting it, ripping it, dipping it. My fault. How I turned my hobby into a job at the age of 18. Let's start with introducing who I am to y'all. My name is Damon Young. I am the... That just sounds so weird. What the f <laughs> My name is Damon Young. I am the creator of DTV Productions. And DTV Productions is a productions company that I started as of last year, November. It deals with photography and videography. Mainly, those, those two. Just particularly, it deals with photography and videography. Let's start at, well, the beginning. We have to go all the way back to last year, 2020. Which was peak time for everybody to be picking up a new hobby. Hence, turning my hobby into my career. And at the time, I had started again doing YouTube. What's going on YouTube? Before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell everybody a late Happy New Year. I want to make sure that everybody's chasing new goals for the new Now, I had started doing YouTube before the fact of COVID and everything. I started doing YouTube actually that January, before COVID and everything actually took place. I was just doing vlogs with friends, funny videos, something, nothing crazy, you know, nothing like this. As of, I believe in the same May of that same year of 2020, I went and picked up my first digital camera. That camera was, which if you do YouTube and you know anything about entry level YouTube digital cameras, you probably guessed it, the Canon M50. And honestly, I have to thank that camera so much for everything that it's done for me because it's got me to the position of where I am today. Do I still have the camera? No, I sold it. Oh, but the person I sold it to, I'm hoping all the energy I put into that camera revolves to you. And I hope you do great things with it. Please don't break it. That'll be really awkward. Just do great with it. And you know who I'm talking to, my boy, Adri. Do your, do your thing with, I hope I said his name right. I initially picked up this camera for the sake of doing YouTube videos, obviously. But then when I started to learn the camera, if you know anything about learning digital cameras, if you started with YouTube, you have to know everything about it. And to know everything about it, you must do research. Research includes YouTube. When you're YouTubing, researching, like learning camera settings, they start to revolve it around different things. You start to get introduced to different fields that you had no idea of. You're, we're so used to like iPhones and stuff like that and just press record and you're done. You pick up a digital camera, there's so much more to that. We got ISO, shutter, f-stop, lenses. You got all of this stuff you gotta worry about now. With some people, a lot of people shy away from things when they see stuff like that because it's a lot of work. Me, it interests the hell out of me. When I started learning about different things about cameras, I just kept learning and learning and learning. And my interest towards it grew. And it grew to the point where I, it was beyond YouTube for me. How I'm doing so far, being that I didn't write anything, I don't, this video got so many cuts, god damn. <laughs> when it's something I don't understand and I start to learn about it, I just want to learn more and more and more. So that's what I started to do. Now, when I started to learn more, I started to want to do more. One thing to know about me, I'm a hustler. I love making money. If there's, a, if there's one way I can make money, it, I'm going for it. Obviously, nothing shady. Like, I might throw a couple feet picks out here and there, but like, nothing too wild. You feel what I'm saying? When I started to do everything with the camera and learn more, I'm like, yo, a potential idea for ways for me to make my money back from what I spent on the camera popped in my head. Because obviously, you know, it was an investment. It was an investment for YouTube because I thought everything was gonna go well with YouTube and it still definitely is. But when I bought that camera, it was more of an investment than anything. Everything you invest your money and time into needs to give something back. Cause what you invest in, you get right back and some. Always remember that, always. I started to take my Canon M50 like outside, do a couple shoots with it. I remember I was outside. I had went to the park one time just to show you the range of which I was shooting. I had went to the park one time early on and I just went out there and was just taking pictures. I have a couple of pictures right now I can show y'all that I, I was just taking pictures of just trees and, and bugs and leaves and landscapes. I was just using the camera and there's no better way to get good with a camera or understand photography than to just go out and do it. I would do these and I would post them on my social media just to get a little bit of attention so I could show people, yo, I do photography, I'm doing photography. And just so that people could see what I'm doing and I'm like taking it seriously, if you wanna say. At the time, I was just taking pictures of random stuff. Like, I kid you not, I took a picture of a sunset, bro. I'm driving with my camera hanging out the window, just snapping the shutter. I don't know what I'm snapping, I don't know what I'm getting, but I'm just all out the window while driving. Please don't do that, ever. 
No matter how important the shot is, do not do it. It is not worth it. I wasn't even at a red light, bro. I'm just driving slow, holding up traffic, low key, just shh. shh. Do I regret it? Not at all. Come on now. I gotta do what you gotta do to get the shot. Just don't do what I do to get the shot. That's what I'm saying. You know, I was doing a, a wide range of things when I started out. Do It's really hard to figure out what you wanna do when you're first starting out with photography. It really, really is. And I'll, I'll touch more on that if you guys want to in a video on how to find out what exactly is your right path when it comes to photography, videography, whatever the case may be. I remember probably a month later, I did my very, very first sports photo shoot. Actually, three steps back. We talked about the nature. I also was doing portraits. I did a portrait of my friend, one of my closest friends, Anaya. I'll post a picture of that as well. And that, with that picture, I worked on a lot of my photoshopping skills. It was a really nice picture already. And I just made it even, like bringing life to the picture, you know what I'm saying? And just working on that just to show people, you know, the skill, quote unquote, the skills that I had. There was no skill. I watched a video and copied what a guy did. It's not really skill because I couldn't do the same thing right now currently. I did not remember what I did at all. I just watched what someone did and did it. And then I was just touching down on a couple different types of photo shoots and everything. I was doing studio photography. Then I did sports photography. I had my first sports photo shoot with a couple of my boys I know, Sean, Andy, Brian. Yo, y'all y'all, hold a special place in here. Y'all already know that. Because if it, it's, I, I can say this about so much stuff, but y'all specifically, if it wasn't for y'all, bro, this, I, I don't know. <laughs> So these are a couple of boys I know in my hometown, you know, I'm from Newark. There's a couple of boys that I know that play baseball. I pulled up to the court. I mean, damn, court? What the fuck? I came to the field and just was taking a couple pictures of them. Mind you, in my opinion, right now where I'm at looking back at these pictures, these pictures are not good. <laughs> Compared to what I can do now, these pictures are not good. But they weren't bad. Like, as you guys can probably tell right now, they were not bad pictures. Mind you, these were shot on an entry-level camera that isn't really meant for this type of photography. So that was my first taste of sports photography. Sports videography as well, did a little bit of video there too. And from there, it just grew and grew and grew. We'll touch more on that in the next video. The next video will definitely start to talk a little more in detail about everything when it comes to sports photography because and videography, because that's, that's where things really started to take off for me. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, which you have to be because it's the first video, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you do click that subscribe button. There will be a lot more videos coming up in terms of tutorials, advice, my personal opinion on things. We had a couple debates coming too when it comes to camera brands. <coughs> Team Sony, oh damn. What, what I say? Anyways, I don't have an outro for this channel yet. I don't want to do the one I did for my last one. So, damn, let me think of one on the spot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to stay creative. And I'm gonna see y'all the next one. Peace. Ah!